Hey guys, and thanks for watching the new video. Um, I'm very fond of the new party mode. I wasn't sure what to think about it, but when I first saw it being announced, I was honestly beyond hype. But there are some suggestions I would like to make. Go away, notifications. For the party mode. First of all is, if you're racing against bots, you shouldn't really have to use tickets. It's only if you're racing against your friends. And by the way, shout out to my friend Bebo, who took his time out of his day to play with me. I don't even know if I'm saying his username correctly, but shout out to him. He's a good friend of mine on Discord. We started talking about Sonic Forces Beat Battles together. We have tons of suggestions for the game. And, yeah, he's a pretty good friend of mine. And I probably wouldn't have done this video without him. Uh, the second suggestion is definitely like an improvement to the bots. The bots are mediocre at best, and I would suggest a difficulty setting, so like easy, medium, hard, and my personal favorite, infinite, which is basically like how he is in the game, not weak, 
I mean, he's he was weak at first in episode Shadow, but that's because he was he didn't have the Phantom Ruby. Um, my third suggestion is not having to leave when you want to change your character, because that gets annoying. I remember testing it the other. I remember testing the party mode the other day, and I kept getting annoyed at having to change characters. I mean, I usually play Eggman, but it gets annoying having to leave and then read and then go do that again. A lot of people didn't really like the ticket system. I mean, I thought it was okay, but it is kind of dumb. The only bright side is, is that I get to watch those ring ads more. There's like an unlimited amount you can watch them. But, um, yeah, I, I, do, I do enjoy Supersonic. I was thinking he was going to be kind of overpowered, but he's actually a weird balance. Because he's like normal Sonic, just with a different boost. And to mention that gold aura that goes around him whenever you're boost, whenever you collect rings. And he's very fun to play. I definitely might start maining him because I do play Sonic usually. But I was also expecting him to always be super. I was I wasn't just expecting it to boost. But it's still pretty fun, and I would definitely use him every now and then. And I would definitely collect cards for him because he's definitely worth your time. That's all I have to say for now. Once again, shout out to my best, to my good friend Bebo. Um, he's a really good friend of mine. We usually talk about Sonic Forces Speed Battles together. And yeah, that's really all I have to say.